بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد respected Bashir Juma Sahib and participants brothers and sisters I welcome you to the second session of our third international virtual Dawa training course we start the program with the recitation from the Holy Quran I would like to request our colleague Dr. Uh, Hafiz Ahmad Hamad to recite few verses from the Holy Quran. Uh, yes, please, Brother Ahmad Hamad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد صدق الله العظيم Brother Ahmad Hamad appears to be not able to join the meeting. He is uh, following us on Facebook. Uh, today, most of the participants uh, will be joining us on Facebook Live. So only our capacity today is 100 participants. Uh, I would like to request Bashir Juma Saab to please uh, start his presentation. Auzu billahi min shaitani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Alhamdulillahi Ali Zati Azim Sifati Sami Simati Kabiri Shan Jalil Il Qadir Rafi Zikri Mutail Amri Jalil Burhan Allahumma Salle Allah Sayyidina Mulana Muhammadin Biadadiman Salla Wasam Allahumma Salle Allah Sayyidina Mulana Muhammadin Biadadiman Kada Wakam Dear Participants Self and Time Management This is for Dawa workers How to become effective, efficient and beneficial to ourselves and the human being, better here and better hereafter. This is the topic. Uh, we will be covering two major topics today. One is symptoms of the bad or poor time management. And other thing will be time management greed. The third item is very small, but very important for all of us that is supplications for improving our time management skills. Okay, let's start from the uh, first question. This is, have you completed the practice of time recording for one week? And number two, have you been able to account for your 168 hours of a week? And have, they, have you been able to analyze them? What were the beneficial and what were the vestige? These are the two questions I have asked in the beginning because you were supposed to fill that time sheet or time recording sheet provided to you by Dr. Malik. And now... If you have not done it, you are advised to start from the current week. Now, symptoms of poor or bad time management. According to Collins Dictionary, a, a system of an illness is something wrong with your body or mind that is a sign of illness. Now here, our body is the time management set or time management skill. We have to identify what are the symptoms which lead to believe that we are not good at time management. Number one, always and habitual to rush to complete the task. It means we delay everything and at the end of the time, we start working and we try to uh, put more efforts 
and we become in the condition of urgency. Vacillate between unpleasant alternatives. Alternative one, alternative two, we are not going to do it. It will time taking, it is out of comfort zone. This is vacillation between unpleasant alternatives. Fatigue and non-productive activities. We feel tired and our activities are not according to aim of our life. We miss our deadlines. This is the normal thing. We normally miss our deadlines. Not enough personal time. We don't have enough personal time. We are not able to give time to ourselves and our family. We feel overwhelmed, always overwhelmed, always emotional. Frequent interruption resulting in delaying important tasks. Frequent interruption resulting in delaying our important task. Always outside pressure and certain inter interruption disturb us. Feeling guilty for what we have not been able to do. Hesitant about tackling important tasks. Not finding the time to take one family member to the doctor when their illness warrants it. Never finding the time to attend to important matters. Finding the bulk of one's time taken up with attending tasks of urgent and immediate nature. Sitting late unnecessarily in office, in workplace, taking work home and bringing home to office, not taking the paperwork and e-work in stride, waiting for the right mood for getting on with written work, being involved with helping others in their work at the expense of our own assignments. We honor other people and sacrifice our work, which is not desirable. Considering oneself to be indispensable for the organization we are working for, it is ujub in Arabic or self-pressing attitude. Attending too many meetings and conferences and wanting to be a super public relation man. Some people are feeling themselves comfortable in this situation. Finding it difficult to say no, even though circumstances warrant, when we can excuse, but due to certain traditions, but due to certain pressure, but due to certain obligation, we are not able to say no, or we are not able to say, excuse me, I can't do it. Being generally under pressure, being upset, being passed for the time as a rule rather than as an expression. We are always under pressure. Not being able to complete a task at the appropriate time. We are not able to complete our ta task with the time limit given to us or time limit set by us. Always being prisoner of devices. Not paying the utilities, gas, electricity, telephone bills on time, and we pay surcharge. Running out of petrol when driving a car or riding a scooter and become stuck up on the main road. Now certain pictorial demonstration of our symptoms of poor time management. We work less, we sow a seed, and we expect too many fru fruits to grow up from this thing. We are good in power, but the see the right man who is sharing his power, but see the power from the cattle is going where? It is coming in his own, own power. 
in organization we do like this thing in organization we do and we work like this in in certain houses the same position is there we we, we see ourselves that our condition is not good but we don't realize this that we are not good but we perceive ourselves like this cat is perceiving herself to be a lion and this is our perception about uh, about ourselves and when we tabulate or organize our activities this will be just like this circle that there are four type of activities but they are not organized and we are under pressure and we are not able to make the priorities in this respect we are not understanding these terms important and not important we have to decide urgent and not urgent situation will tell you and our values and our character that is more important procrastination which does not allow us to start any work perfection which does not allow us to complete any work prime time we don't know our peak time high performance time or our energy level and we are not able to plan ourselves we don't have skills to review our uh, performance and we don't evaluate ourselves and we don't do the accountability of ourselves we don't believe and we don't practice in hasibu qabla an tuhasibu people have to account for themselves before the day of judgment and this is important that we must understand these signs because these are universal signs signs everywhere we will find it not to do to do and we have to be cautious not to do prohibited to do permissible cautious mutashabihat we have to be careful about this but we don't understand and we don't follow this instruction in our life okay now we have completed this thing the symptoms of poor time management now we will take a break of 2 minutes but program will continue the break is for you to think about that thing this is energizer this is ice breaker this is just an entertainment okay see in our mathematics arithmetic accounting there are nine figures 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the 10th is zero but it is important whenever it is placed it changes many times the request to the participant is that arrange this 1 to 9 in such a way that horizontally vertically and diagonally you get the answer 15 it is not difficult just to arrange it in a logical way now we have put these figures the five the central figure which has been shadowed in yellow all figures are red and even figures are in green rearrange the green and red boxes green boxes in z form and 5 to be in its original place i am giving you 30 seconds to think about this then we will go to the answer to the next slide okay the answer is here five is in between 2 4 6 8 
you will see this is just like Z. And after that, you will be able to complete this thing and you will get everywhere uh, 15. We could get 15 from the original uh, arrangement, but it would have been eight. Now you are getting 16. Now the resetting and rearrangement give you more productivity, more results. Our objective of this time management workshop, training, course, whatever we call it, is to improve our performance and improve our results. So we have to rearrange ourselves, we have to reset ourselves, we have to reposition ourselves. This was the energizer and exercise because after this, when we will be discussing the time management grid, it is important for us to get ourselves out of our comfort zone and to do accordingly. Now, coming on the other thing, the time management grid, TMG, management process, and what are the steps? We will show you the time management grid, but explain it at the end of this presentation because it, is, it has an exercise on this thing. Now, this is all time management grid. You have to confine yourself. You have to categorize your activities in A, B, C, D, E. And you have to find out your attributes, wheels, factors, or ingredients of your success in this form from top to bottom and lens from left to right. The process of self and time management has a five steps. Number one, identify and assess ourselves. We will explain item by item, inshallah. Determine objectives of our life. Goals, determination of goals, and in accordance with lanes and wheels. Bring change in our life. This is the most important thing in this process. And assess and make more progress day by day. For time management break, I will suggest you to use a notebook or word file or any application available to you or notepad, a small card three by five, whatever is possible for you. Name it is a self management book, write your name. And at the end, SMB, self management book. Keep this book as a your secret book or self-improvement book. Initially, for one or two weeks, fill it on a daily basis and then put it on a weekly basis. Identify and assess ourselves. Number one, know yourself. Write down your positive and negative traits and see what is your position. Analyze your qualities and drawbacks, strengths and weaknesses in life and in time management. Enumerate and assess your habits. What are your habits? Top down, A, B, C, D. And try to understand terms about the time management. We have mentioned those and we will explain you in the next program, inshallah. Try to understand the benefits of time management. We have already explained you. Okay, whenever there is a charm, there will be some pull for you. And when we understand ourselves, we know ourselves, then man arafa nafsahu, fakad arafa rabbahu, whoever knows himself 
knows his lot. Now we have to review the status. Know ourselves and document and diagnose ourselves. Write it down on the self-management book. Analyze our plus and minus points on the self-management book. Our assets and liabilities. If you are a businessman, write it. If you are a normal person, write it. You are a student, write it. Review your internal and external matters. You are compulsion. You are controllable and non-controllable matters. Review and examine your habits and routines for changing them. How you are mitigating them, how you are dealing them, it is important. Determine objectives of the life. Think what the life is. What should be the objective of our life? Determine it. We know being Muslim, What should be the impact of the objective on our life? If we determine this is the objective, then what should be impact on our life? This is important. What are the ex expectation by adopting this objective? What people will expect from us if we say this is our objective? The impact on is us and the expectation is by the people. Determine life goals. Determine life goals, keeping these objectives. Goal is your dreams converted into time frame. Determine objective of life. Life is blessing of Almighty Allah. Time is the measure of moment of life. Life is the name of benefiting from the blessings of Allah and fulfilling the responsibilities associated with them. Life is the name of practice in the world and result in the hereafter. And after the result, dealing will be done accordingly. Whatever has been decided over there, we are expecting Rabbana Atayna Fi Dunya Hasanatum Wa Fil Akhirati Hasanatum Wa Qin Azab Al-Nar What should be the aim of the life? The aim in life is the relation with Allah and practicing the given protocol. The best example of this protocol is the Prophet Muhammad and our aim should be to live our life according to his seerah. This protocol has its set of manners and some do's and don'ts. The Sharia, Sunnah, Seerah, and our etiquettes, keeping the matter of sense of responsibility and recompense in mind while benefiting from the life of this world, the life of hereafter should be prepared for. We are always preparing for Akhira with the resources available in this dunya. The quality of this ambition is that it makes the life of this world, the medial life, and eventually the hereafter better. What should be the impact of determination of our goals on our life? By determining the aforementioned aim in life, the factor of conscious and responsibility come, which are the basic component of mom's life. It also brings balance organization and civilization in personality and in absolute faith in Allah. These are the impacts. Now number C is goals based on low lanes and wheels. Determination of goals according to the aim. Master list, list of goals, short term goals, medium term goals and long term goals. Goal should be for these lanes and for these areas. What are these lanes? We will discuss in detail, but these are five. Personal, like health and energy level. Career, 
और प्रोफेशनल प्रोग्रेशन प्रोग्रेस एंड डेवलपमेंट इकोनॉमिक रिस्क हलाल डूइंग जॉब गोइंग इंटरप्रेन्योरशिप बीइंग बिजनेसमैन बीइंग ए फैमिली बिजनेस ओनर इफ यू आर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज रिस्क हलाल डू इट फैमिली वी आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर देम we have to protect them from the jahannam social society needs us if we are beneficial to human being it is better it is liked khairun nasi mayan faun nas now the fourth item bring change in our life organize ourselves and change our attitude change habits that learn and enhance the required skills which are required skills learn latest technology and tools and cut down on wastage of time we are going in detail now ideas and way of thinking this positively ideas and way of thinking think positively our attitude and habits we have to improve them our abilities try to adopt according to the present time requirement in hundred years back our mode of transportation was different from the today 30 years back our mode of communication was different from today we have adopted new things and we have to adopt according to the need of the time our relationship with all those who matter we have to think and change those things our dealings and activities that keep us busy we have to think about that our behavior try to win good pages in all walk of life by improving it be honest in our dealing so that we can be trustworthy organize ourselves rather than leaving things scattered and shabby gather them and sort out the useful from the useless we have to identify what is important for us and what is not important for us take notice of what you are spending your time in what and whether it is important or not always think is it the best use of my time right now you will get the answer very easily and if you get the answer you change accordingly like we do at the signals list down the important and resolve not to them list down the unimportant items and resolve not to do them because we engage ourselves in unimportant task because we feel comfortable with those bring a change in your behavior for time management we have to change our behavior towards ourselves and towards the time management also it is especially important a short tempered manner less driver is often avoided if you are an angry angry man you have to change it. if you are short tempered you have to change it change our habits this will become the rules and regulation for our life make a list of those habits which are important for you in this journey we are doing a journey from this world to that world develop the required habits make a list of these habits and try to train yourself and practice them these are the important things for bringing change in our life do list and action plan cut down the wastage of time and laziness avoid wasting your time try to keep the laziness and procrastination to the least keep your objectives and goals in view while working keep it 
as a frame in your mind in whatever you do make sure it is in line with them do what is right important in the and in the best possible way the asan way this is what our religion teaches us take out all that is extra in useless from your closet office computer home and give them donate them for the social welfare people need them more than you because you are you have stored them and you are not using them the more extra contents the more wastage of time spend some moments of solitude daily before sleeping these are the moments of self assessment and communication with yourself we give much of 100 1440 minutes of our every day to others our sleep but we need to give ourselves spare some of this for yourself assess yourself prepare and plan to make you are today and tomorrow better than yesterday this will prove beneficial for yourself for your self assessment and improvement use the smb self management book which has been advised you earlier now the fifth item assess and make more progress we are talking about the five steps of the self improvement before reaching to time management grid grid set the priorities what is important and what is urgent and what what are according to our values plan and schedule if we are working in a team in a business team making and assignment regular review and progress and evaluation and reward reprimand and reassessment write down again on a weekly basis on a daily basis whatever should you make yourself write down your aims and motives and goals list down important urgent and possible possible not impossible possible objective separately this is your priority list should do according to your priorities make an action plan by categorizing your priorities plan to achieve your aims motives and goals keep a calendar in front of you and fix the time for the above items mentioned earlier this is called scheduling decide on which matters will you detach yourself with to achieve your goals to achieve your important and favorite goals you have to sacrifice something today you are attending this workshop this presentation and you have set aside you are other things because you consider this program as more important in your life and you have sacrificed your comfort zone listing down your responsibilities and objectives is important keeping your abilities and resources in view you will have to prioritize certain motives and responsibilities over the others you will have to make this decision wisely the sacrifice is more important you have to consider your priorities your objectives your goals etc make a time table keeping your objectives in view arrange your responsibilities make the time table according to days and hours and knit them into your time table we will show you suggest you a template of time table in which we understand will be hopeful helpful for you use a block time time table it means you make you are 16 hours from wake up till sleeping time into eight blocks of time of 2 2 hours and do the important things 
according to your energy level and prime time and your mental abilities which are more active at that time block time is important determine the time and resources for your responsibilities and adhere to them it depends on your devotion to your goals arranging resources required for what you want to do is your responsibility for fulfilling your dreams you have to arrange your resources that will be your effort then tawakkal is there but effort is necessary adhere to your responsibilities and resources strictly use them wisely learn the art of team building and assignment of work if you are a dawa worker if you are an imam if you are a leader of ngo if you are leader of an organization learn the art of the team building and assignment of work develop the ability of working with people train the individuals and try to make an effective team after training the team teach them about their work show them how to work build their self confidence and learn to assign work to them set the assessment standards and observe daily learn to keep an account assess yourself and your performance too also make a forum for team assessment how you will assess your team members plan a way to reward and reprimand system develop a habit to appreciate the job done well appreciate well performer in front of everyone try to understand the problems of weak performers and learn to reprimand them in good words while reprimanding your colleagues take care of their self respect self esteem and avoid words which may hurt their feelings bring a change by new thoughts and ideas bring diversity in your thoughts for this read and contemplate improve yourself introduce your new thoughts and ideas among your colleagues too develop a habit of keeping an account and record of your responsibilities and timing write a journal regularly fill the time sheet use the modern applications and note down the hours utilized make the most of contemporary tools of recording develop this habit among your colleagues tell them it is like assessment of one's house affairs in order to be aware of utilization and wastage of time spend time with yourself weekly monthly or fortnightly for contemplation reflection and self assessment we have discussed this matter try to use your self management book regularly now the self management grid understanding the lanes and wheels of the life this is the third stage of the process lanes plus wheels facilitate your journey of life and through this journey we you we reach on our goals and by achieving these goals we achieve the purpose and aim of our life this the aim and purpose is in front of our eyes in our head in our heart and for this we do this thing there are at this moment five lanes of life you may challenge it you may change it it's up to you but for this program we have confined ourselves to these five lines you may say these are 
4, not 5. You may these are 8, not 5. When you will become expert in this field, you will decide and you will introduce according to your abilities. The first is personal life. Our personal life. Our education and career life. Because it is different. Teenaging. Our economic life, job or business. It's different. The our family life. This has three levels, parents, ourselves and siblings, spouse and children, social or society or community. The line three and four intermingled go together. Line one and two normally go together. Line one, two and five go together, but four and five are very crucial for our life. There are six wheels, wheels of this vehicle, the ingredients, the important items. Number one is sense of responsibility. And number two is the character. Number three is the attitude. Number four, habits. Number five, skills. And number six, technology, tools, and techniques. Again, sense of responsibility. We will explain these six items separately. It will be a dedicated session for this thing. But sense of responsibility is very important. Character is also important. Attitude and habits, skills and treaties. Inshallah, we will explain in detail. Now, this is the grid. You have five lanes, personal, educational, family, economic, and social. And we have a sense of responsibility, character, attitude, habits, skills, treaties. We will show you separately. Inshallah. Now, five lanes of life and areas of time management. Personal. Balance and organize personal life. Mental, physical, psychological health. Identifying the prime time and synchronizing the energy level. Improving, surviving and life skills. Assess ourselves, take care of progress and try to accomplish life goals. Try to succeed through the objectives, planning, hard work and struggle. This is about the first line of life that is personal. The second is educational, career and professional line. Make an educational schedule. Attend the classes at the institution and acquire education. Post COVID-19, the physical education is transferred meeting into virtual and from the college degrees, we will be focusing on the online certification. Do the extracurricular activities, try to organize the life and education of our children and try to make progress in studying, preparing for exams, and improving discussion skills. Economic life, we do job or business for a better life and future. Make efforts for risk halal and initially try to learn all types of tasks. Find, find out your interest areas and try to excel in them. Be professionally competent and authority. Associate 
with an institution and see future with it and try to improve yourself in the required abilities in order to make progress. During this time, you decide if job is suitable for you or business. By making this decision, you navigate ahead in life. After it, opting for business, you make decision about investment and partnerships. Now, family life. Top is parent. Number two is spouse. Around you is your siblings. Then you are children and the larger family. Means if we make a five levels, your parents are at top. You are their child. You have a siblings. You have a life partner. You have a children. You have a larger family. Take care of the rights of parents. Make efforts for siblings, education, career, and setting. If you are an elder brother, after marriage, set goals of your success with the partners. Try to make a house a home and prepare for children's future, better education, and development of their abilities. Ku wan fusikum ahalikum nara. Social life, neighborhood, and community. Try to work for social welfare. Khairun nasi, mayan paun nas. Educate members of the society. Plan, get together, and fix meetup timings with the collaboration of peers at the mosque, masjid, and in the society. Do the work for greater welfare and try to bring smiles on the faces of poor and orphans. Now, we are going to discuss the six wheels of time management. These are all based meaning taken from the Collins Dictionary. The responsibility. If you have responsibility for something or someone, or if they are your responsibility, it is your job or duty to deal with them and to take decisions relating to them. We must take responsibility with the sense and perform to the best of our abilities and skills. Number two, character. The character of a person or place consists of all qualities they have that make them distinct from other people or places. Your character is your personality, speciality, how reliable and honest you are. If someone is of good character, they are reliable and honest. If they are of bad character, they are unreliable and dishonest. Attitude. Your attitude to something is the way that you think and feel about it, especially when this shows in the way you behave. If you refer to someone as a person with attitude, you mean that they have a striking and individual style of behavior, especially a forceful or aggressive one. The fourth wheel, a habit is something that you do often or regularly. A habit is an action which is considered bad that someone does just repeatedly and find it difficult to stop doing, a tendency or disposition to act in a particular way, a learned behavior, behavioral response that has become associated with a particular situation, especially one frequently repeated. Now the fifth wheel is skill. A skill is a type of work or activity which requires special training and knowledge. A skill is the knowledge and ability to enable you to do something well. A special ability in a task, a sport, 
etc especially ability acquired by training you are getting training and you are acquiring an ability or skill the synonyms are expertise ability proficiency experience and the five and the sixth item is technology tools and techniques technology refers to methods systems and devices which are the result of scientific knowledge being used for practical purpose a tool is an instrument or simple piece of equipment that you hold in your hands and used to do particular kind of work for example spades hammers and knives are all tools a technique is a particular method of doing an activity usually a method that involves practical skills now we understood the meaning of five lanes and six wheels now come to the time management grid these are your five lanes personal educational economic family social and your attributes wheels sense of small responsibility character attitude habits skills and three t's we have given maximum number 10 and the desirable numbers have been plotted over here this is my judgment about this desirable number you may have desirable number 10 or six it is up to you but for such sense of responsibility in personal life at least it should be eight okay now these numbers are judgmental not scientific these are challengeable but these are doable you have a range between 1 to 10 even 0 to 10 and you can do it okay so this chart shows you the desirable numbers now come on the next chart this chart shows you your actual position as of today sense of responsibility okay the this so previously it was this thing your sense of responsibility in all areas were 32 out of 50 actually your position is 17 out of 15 character you had 40 out of 50 here 18 out of 50 attitude 36 out of 50 your actual position is 18 out of 50 habits your desirable is 36 out of 50 but you are you have only 12 out of 50 is skills you are desirable are 32 out of 50 but you have 12 out of 50 technology tools and techniques desirable 32 out of 50 but actually 12 out of 50 this is desirable this is actual and this is the gap analysis desirable minus actual is the gap between these two and this is 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 so in sense of responsibility there is a gap a gap of 15 character 22 habits 24 skills 20 and technology tools and techniques 20 now if you fill this chart regularly on a weekly basis then you will be able to find where you need improvement and for this you have again this blank chart write a b c d and make an action plan to what you are going to do in this field and what you are going to improve it these all things will be needed to be written in your smb self management book computer notes whatever it's there but it is suggested that you start with the hard copy and you can do it in a better way if you are using technology tools you do it nothing prohibiting you from doing this thing and through this process 
try to make this chart monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and see your progress this is the dream of hazrat safyan sori nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam came in his dream and advise him he whose two days are equal in accomplishment is a sure loser manistawa yawmahu fa huwa maqbun some people are saying this is hadith but as per research this is the dream manistawa yawmahu fa huwa maqbun ke he whose two days are equal in accomplishment is a sure loser if you are as good as you were yesterday you will not be good for tomorrow so this is important for us to see this thing again going back go on this chart make your desirable numbers fill your actual position gap analysis do the plan check your progress daily man istawa yawmahu fa huwa maqbun ke hu he who two days are equal equal in accomplishment is a sure loser we want to be good better and the best our every day should be better than yesterday when we need we do it you will see the result there is a plant coming out of a stone wa may yattaqillaha yajal lahu makhrajan wa yarzuqu min haythu la yatasib wa may yatawakkal ala allah fa huwa asbuhu inna allah baligh amrihi qad jala allah li kulli shay'in qadara and whoever fears allah he will make a way out for him and will provide for him where he never expected whoever relies on allah he will suffice him allah will accomplish his purpose allah has a set allah has set a measure to all thing this is from surah talaq ayat number 2 and 3 now now coming back to two time saving duas ربنا اتينا من لدنك رحمه وهي لنا من امرنا رشدا ربنا اتينا من لدنك رحمه وهي لنا من امرنا رشدا سوره کاف ایت نمبر 10 او لارڈ او لارڈ गिव अस मर्सी फ्रॉम योरसेल्फ एंड ब्लेस आवर अफेयर्स विद गाइडेंस द सेकंड इज اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه Oh Allah enable us to see the truth as truth and give us the ability to follow it warin al batila batila warzuk tanaba and show us the falsehood as false and give us the ability to refrain from it amen gentlemen thank you very much this is end of this second program